everybody, welcome to another edition of Ranwin Parked. This is episode number 59. I am Kondodger, joined by Kurt, J, Mac, and ZK. And we're switching things up. Oh no. Oh well, no. It's a whole new show. It's brand new. change. <laughs> it's so swift too. It only took 59, actually probably like 55 episodes before we made any major change. And, uh... The change is basically less rules. <laughs> we're 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 an unstructured society now, or less structured. But well, I, I like to think of it is that we're comfortable with, enough with each other that we can just kind of do what we want. <laughs> I don't like yeah. the way, I don't like the way that sounded at all. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> that was awful. Uh, <laughs> it's consensual, I promise. <laughs> yeah, it's uh. I don't know. I feel like we're at a point where we can be a little bit more casual with the way that we are finding the ads because at, at this point, a lot of the stuff in the like categories that we set up has already been done. Like, there's no way that you're gonna avoid repeating themes and whatever. And so we're just gonna kind of shift our focus towards, hey, what'd you find this week? <laughs> Instead <laughs> of trying to fit these like specific categories. I, I thought about calling it, like, Need of the Week, but that sounds really dorky, and I don't want to call it that. That does sound like something you would come up with. Yeah. <laughs> A little too comfortable with each other. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's back down the comfort level here a bit. Uh, are, we, are we comfortable? So how do we start? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, do we start with uh, the, the thing that I really got a kick out of when I brought this up was Kurt saying that's great I have ads going back to what date did you say like August 2019 or something yeah August 2019 because I had just been like as I see them saving you know taking screenshots and saving in the format that we do uh and just being like oh that'd be a good ram of park to well but you know inevitably there's always something that shows up that's better or that catches my eye or that would wait we that would work with the 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 very often used theme episode that mm -hmm. we did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I still just do have a running Ran One Park folder on my desktop. You should probably many, close many... that. That's got to be a memory leak by now. <laughs> True. <laughs> I think probably. I have one from May 2019. I don't. I always, every week, I would only save as many as I needed for the show. I I, it's the same as Kurt. It's like I'd find one and then I'd like you know take all the screenshots and then I'd keep browsing. I'm like, oh, this one's much better. Or this one fits mm -hmm. whatever this week better. I was getting. And I, I also, was... when oh, I like... see something, I don't want to be like, oh, I'll screenshot that before the show, and then it mm -hmm. like disappears. It's sold mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Ad is taken down. I was or uh, putting a lot of that sorry. stuff to Instagram, like like any of the stuff that was like, eh, that doesn't really fit the show. But then they took away the ability to post Instagram from the computer, and now it makes me die a little inside uh, every time I... That explains a lot. Yeah. You were able to post to Instagram from a computer? Since I, when? Uh, there was a Windows app that let you do it for a while there. Oh, okay. Now it's gone. So it's back to the old manual style. And it wouldn't be so bad, but I like to like edit out personal information for that stuff, and it's just a pain in the butt. But don't unfollow because I still post stuff on there every now and again when it's something that really needs to be shared. That's that's, just, that's on the sale. I, I think a lot of stuff I didn't share wasn't necessarily like not good for the show. It just didn't fit the strict category. Mm -hmm. Like all my boring yeah. cars that I find. Right. I don't think this episode's going to be quite as different because we only decided on this like five hours ago. Um but in the future, it might be more of like the, here's a picture of this one ad that I saw. Moving along. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess it's just going to be in the order of us, basically, for today. So I'll be going up first, and these are the ads that I found this week. They are pretty much structured like they always have been, because, like I said, we just decided this. Uh, but this was a, a really good Ranwin Park find. This is a 1966 Mercedes-Benz 300D for 
mid 60s mercedes 66 is what it says mid 60s <laughs> they're changing their story here <laughs> <laughs> 66 is mid 60s yeah but they don't seem as certain about it anymore do they <laughs> <laughs> Randwin Park 15 years ago, four-cylinder diesel with a four-speed manual transmission, no title, bill of sale from my shop. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Thanks, Ron, at Viking Marine <laughs> Services. That really helps me. Uh, I don't know much about an old Merc, but I was surprised by this, by how modern-ish the engine looks. Just looking at it, it doesn't. this doesn't scream 1966 to me. Okay. I'll break it down for you here. Okay, thanks. So it's a diesel. So it's essentially direct injection. Injection. Mm -hmm. So you're not seeing the carb and right. all the all the spark plug wires and everything that you would see in like a 80s engine. My understanding is diesel engines up until very recently pretty much never changed. <laughs> yeah, common <laughs> rail became common and like uh mid 2000s early 2010s mm -hmm. and before that it was like the same since yes. the 60s the newest thing is that they slapped the turbo on them right oh i didn't even consider the fact this is a non-turbo diesel yeah, four yeah <laughs> this is a slug hey <laughs> also ran when parked and it doesn't have a brake master cylinder oh yeah ran when parked my butt <laughs> Although, as I've learned, working hydraulics is something that when you buy a Randwin part car, are probably not going to work. Spoilers to a video that may or may not happen. Ooh. I, uh, I don't hate the body style of it. It's almost like, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of the 50s and 60s Americana stuff. Yeah, there was, yeah. I want to say there was one of these for sale. Yeah, right I, here. I was Right, well, yes, <laughs> but, like, not ran with part. It was black, and it, like, ran and drove, allegedly. Mm. Um, but, yeah, like, it, it does have, like, fins on the back. Right. Um, it was also a four-cylinder diesel, so it would be slow. It was all slowness. Yeah, but it's a four-cylinder uh, diesel. Slap a turbo on the sucker. It'll, it'll be fine. Just give it some more diesel. <laughs> mm. So, yeah, I really want like the early '80s, like 300 TD, the turbo diesel in the wagons. And <laughs> TD. Those things are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the change of the show was our uh, upstanding um, professionalism and maturity, right? Yeah. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, I've never had any desire for anything diesel, but I did find this to be interesting. At least. Yeah, I never knew they had little wings on them. Yeah, it it is it is kind of a weird mix of Mercedes and Wingadinga, but yet four cylinder diesel. I feel like this is one of those cars that the ones that did get, you know, the ones that are still around probably have like small block Chevys in them or something. Uh, I think they probably have like the million mile badges that Mercedes will send you. Oh well, maybe that. <laughs> maybe that. Also, I like Mercedes kinda, pre '90s. Kind of Wreckfest vibes with this. I do feel like this would be a a hell of a oh, demo derby yeah. car, right? <laughs> yeah, put a nice bash bar on there yeah. and a V8, and we're good to go. Mm-hmm. Which is, I mean, I don't know. I don't know anything about old Mercedes. How easy these parts are going to be to find. I I just don't see how this is something that's anywhere near restorable. But I don't know. Don't know. And then, let's see, what's mystery number two? Ah, uh, mystery number two is an 81 Prelude that's on Rad. I think it's on Rad. Uh, no, no bids on it, it's like a brand new ad. And it prompted an interesting little nugget of discussion in my brain, my own brain, about Preludes and how weird they are. Like how, <laughs> just weird in the fact that they had no reason to exist, in my opinion. Mm-mm. Like, there was already Civics, there was already CRXs, there was already uh, Accords, there's already... There's there's so many other Hondas that do all of the things that a Prelude does, but the Prelude didn't get any of the good stuff. <laughs> it's like, I mean, this one's an early one, 81, so it's got that weirdo um, CC 
CC, what is it? CVCC2 engine. Which, everything I've heard about them is slow. <laughs> yeah, but they didn't need a catalytic converter. All ah, right. Is that what it was? Like, it was like burning the exhaust I think, twice? I don't remember the exact, like, how they did it, but I think it was this motor that GM, because this was what, 70s? Yeah, late 70s, and, early 80s. And that was like when all the American manufacturers had to completely like choke up their engines to pass emissions. Right. And then Honda was like, look, we can do it without even a cat and it passes. I don't know. There's just something about the preludes. Like I always really disliked them for a long time. And I think it was, it was essentially for the reason of, okay, great. It's a Honda, it's front wheel drive and it doesn't have the good engines. Why does anybody want what? these? It did. It didn't have the engines. Correct. So I, I I imagine the Prelude was like Honda's personal luxury coupe, but not the luxury. Right. I was just <laughs> this is luxury, huh? <laughs> I mean, it's probably it, it, more luxury than an EF hatch, sure. Yeah, but there were always like the bigger coupe with the big block essentially in them. So, so instead of 1.5 or 1.6 liters, you got like a, a like a two liter. This one was a 1.8 for 81. That's giant. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the the later ones had those what H22s or, or something like that in yeah. them. That, yeah. They they was good in like if, everything about them was good. It just wasn't as special or or performance oriented. Mm -hmm. And I just, yeah, I don't know. They were always just a little bit weird to me as far as where they fit. And a lot like the Celica, I would say, every generation is pretty different. Mm. And for some reason, I like every generation of Prelude. They're all not the same, in my opinion. Even this one? I actually kind of like this. Like, you don't have a good picture of yeah, the front I, of it. I forgot to snag a picture of the front. But yeah, I mean, if you look at the back, it's kind of like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just the headlights. Yeah, um. <laughs> same fixture, just clear lens. Right. Mm -hmm. And Kurt, I know you've kind of taken a liking to some of the preludes over. Yeah, I mean, years. I've always I have a a a, a, a Gran Turismo mm. nostalgia for the fourth generation, the one with like the long kind of arrow pointing down the hood. Oh yeah. Is, is that the one that had like the little vents next to headlights too? Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. That was a good design, um, but then I had mm -hmm. I knew someone that had one, and it was slow. <laughs> <laughs> but the, they didn't get the best of anything, at least here in the U.S. Um, uh, that's the shark nose one, yeah, <laughs> or like the blobfish looking one. <laughs> I don't know all of the names. No, um, but no, it's yeah, and like fish. they've got weird stuff like. The four wheel steering some of them got, which is just useless and overcomplicated for a car this size, but sure, why not? Um, but yeah, like interested peripherally. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. You know, there's like, like I said, there'd be like, I'd choose a Celica or something right. for a Prelude. Yeah, I don't know how much this is going to go for. It's in nice shape, but not like spectacular shape, but it's. For as, as, as old as it is, it's really nice. Like, the only wear that was on the interior was, like, the radio buttons had just completely disintegrated. <laughs> but what is it, a Fiat? But I don't think, yeah. <laughs> but I don't think you'll be changing your cassette, you know, settings very often anyway. I'm surprised the bolster's not worn out. What bolster? It's got a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's the flattest seat I've ever seen. <laughs> uh yeah, interesting case of the prelude. It, if if we ever have Ant on again, I would, I would probably uh, quiz him on the same thing because he seems to really like the preludes as well. But I do kind of wonder if it's a little bit of the hey, I like Hondas, but I want to be the mature Honda. You know, I don't want to be one of those kids in a Civic, and I don't want to be a grandpa in an Accord. I'm gonna get a prelude. Hmm. 
but might be on something there that feels a little too meta it's probably that's that sounds like something regular would say and i have a weird <laughs> taste in my mouth now well, who, who who drives the del sol oh god Me. i always forget about the del sol and <laughs> <laughs> uh, the del sol was the car who i always made fun of and then i was like you know what the vtech exists with the b16 yeah but yeah, i always I see those for sale, and I'm like, oh, neat. And then I see them at, like, a Cars and Coffee, and I'm like, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> it's basically an EG, but with the back cut off of it. Yeah, it's like, I want all of the inconvenience of an MR2, but none of the benefits. <laughs> <laughs> very, very strange vehicle. And speaking of strange vehicles, Camino sent me this one. Dad's becoming a Ford guy, apparently. This is pretty neat. It's a 67 N-Series 1-ton dually 350 that has been put on probably a Chevy frame, I believe, because it's got a, it's got a, you know, a 350 and a turbo 400 in it. And it's a really, it's kind of got that, like, stubby look to it. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like this is much smaller than this truck used to be. Or the, for the cab, because this is what, the 650 cab, I think, or something like that? Yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to say. It's like the medium-duty cab, but on the light-duty truck. And also, mark your bingo cards for got, a finger. Got a finger in the picture there. <laughs> uh, I really, I don't know what it is, but I really like the front-end design. <laughs> like, <laughs> there's just something about it that I really, really like. I think because the headlights looks are, are so low, mm. it looks slammed, even yeah. though it's not. Like, this thing looks like a lowrider, but it is significantly taller than the Taurus behind it. <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting. It's got this weird, like, I guess like a fifth wheel bed on the back? I don't know what you would call it. Yeah, I don't know what the Yeah, like a flatbed type thing. Yeah. I don't know exactly... I don't have a purpose for this in my life, is is what it boils down to. But style-wise, I really like it. I wish it had like a 454 in it or something. Yeah, 350 is a bit of a disappointment, but if but a 350 as it is, fits that's there. Plenty. Right, yeah. But if a 350 fits there, then a 454 would fit there, and anything would fit there. You know, a modern yeah. LS platform would fit there. It seems like it's a pretty short wheelbase. Does it say E? Is this an E instead of an F series? Is that why the nose is so stubby? What? Well, the e, the I'm only familiar with the E series as far as being the vans, but that's not a van cab. Is it not? Could it be? I don't know. Well, it's very hard to see. I the, guess that might say F. There's no doghouse or anything. True. Did we see it? No, these are the only three pictures that were part of the ad, unfortunately. Also, I think the uh, contrast of the white front does a lot. Yeah, it does almost make me wish that I was going to do the all red on the ramp truck and then just do the grill and the roof white. Like, I think that would be a that would be a good look. Keep the chrome grill. But yeah, it's it's too much work. Or <laughs> aluminum or whatever it is. Right. It's just too much work. But uh, it's pretty neat. I, I, I approve of this. I don't think they even listed a price, unfortunately, but... You're willing <laughs> to trade for a medium-sized bus? Ooh. Oddly, they're... a dump truck. But it has to have 175,000 miles or less. <laughs> <laughs> Why exactly and this number? Diesel and automatic. 175? That's like medium age for a diesel, so... But but why not two hundred thousand? Why not one hundred fifty? That, that, that's a little past the hump. <laughs> <laughs> we just said it doesn't have a hump. Over the hill, whatever <laughs> term you want to use. <laughs> Let's talk to Camino about it. He'll know. Probably. He's the one that sent it to me, and I mean, even though it's got a Chevy engine in it, I'm telling you, Ford guy in the making here. <laughs> it's gonna happen. <laughs> oh, small update on Camino. Uh, he got the Datsun running again for the first time in many years. Oh. On this, I do believe, the fourth anniversary of us getting that truck and still <laughs> not having a title for it. And I'm going to publicly mm. shame my brother for that in this video so that it is on camera and that he will probably never hear these words 
but we could have at least 70 people being angry at him. <laughs> but someday, uh, and yes, the gas... It just needed a jump. No, the gas had gone all gross in it. Oh. He had to take the car apart, and he got it running, and then as he got it running, it pulled up gross stuff from the tank and stopped running, and the clutch hydraulics had gone screwy again and don't that let things really sit. familiar doesn't it though doesn't that sound very familiar hey con you want to help me replace a fuel pump what do you need a fuel pump in everything <laughs> <laughs> fuel pumps fuel pumps for everyone uh that's all i got for this week what's kurt got ah jeez ah, i do have geez. uh i've gone with like a few like I've got to get through my folder, so I got a few like theme oh. posts going on. So similar but different. But Ranglin parked a 1970 Datsun 510 for five thousand um, dollars. Waiting for the JPEG artifacting so I could read the ad. There it goes. <laughs> uh, this person, so, something happened. Okay, so what happened? I don't know. Time flies. Ranglin parked in 1986. That's uh, that's that's older than me. Yeah, <laughs> that's been sitting for longer than I've been alive. <laughs> and it was only running for sixteen years. Yeah, that's a crazy fact, isn't it? Oh yeah, I didn't even think of that. So yeah. it's been sitting for what thirty-five years? Oh, don't say those words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow, it's original. been sitting for twice as long as it was running. That sounds like some of my cars. Mm -hmm. I mean, this looks... It looks very good. Yeah. Surprisingly, Surprisingly yeah. Good. We're only asking 5000 It's a two-door? Yep. Is it a... <laughs> Never mind. Probably... Honestly, probably my preferred Datsun. Like, if I was going to have a Datsun, I would want a 510 over a Z. There's that engine. My tin wagon, though. Also, what is that? Is that a Miata? Yeah, it's, it's Miata, an NA. Right? Yeah, it's a Miata. Yeah. Yep. Same. It's been ran one park for who knows how long. Right. Since. <sighs> All that. Oh, I hate. Uh, I don't know what it is about, like, corroded aluminum that just, like, makes me feel gross. It does give me the, like, dry teeth feeling. Yeah. Kurt's like, at least I took the battery out. Two drugs. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Man, yeah, this, this is actually a lot better than I expected it to be. Mm hmm. Uh, like, there's so many things that are similar to the truck. <laughs> These funky pedals with, like, the clutch pedal with a huge bend in it. <laughs> that is weird. Oh, look at them seat covers. <laughs> Smell them seat covers. Do that. Wow. Yeah. Right. My fiber board isn't like completely melted. 25 years. <laughs> Sorry. 35 years. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. Uh, ah, this is this is one of those cases of I really, really wish I had five grand sitting around because this is one of those dream builds for me. Mm. What would you put in it? Nobody's going to be happy. <laughs> I will just not say anything because nobody will like it. Uh, I was just... Personally, I'd put like a SR16VE in it. Okay. Kurt would probably keep the L16. You'll, you'll... I don't know what other choices there are. <laughs> I mean, you could put anything in these, basically. The world your oyster. You could put a V8 in there if you want. Beam were. swap. That's all I know. <laughs> Beams. Ooh, yeah. Uh, the KA swaps are extremely common in 510s. Like, there's mm. pretty much bolt-in kits to do it. Uh, same for a single or... Well. Do you a single or dual cam? Honestly, either. I, I have no major preference, single or dual. Uh, in the world of, like, if... If you're just trying to make it a car that's drivable, like you're just trying to make it a car that is fun to drive around, either one is going to be the same. <laughs> like, yeah, because either of those is like double stock horsepower. Maybe not double. The L16 was not a slouch of an engine. Like it was an overhead cam. And what year is it? This is a 70. So 70. it should be the same as the truck. 
And for the very brief moments I had the truck running, it wasn't slow. Like, it, it was able to get up and go. Yeah, uh, that's one thing, like, that's weird with the mini trucks is, like, they have 80 horsepower or whatever, but they don't weigh anything. Right, I'm sure this is the same. Like, I'm sure if this got hit by that Miata, you would fold up into, you know, a little meatball. <laughs> <laughs> and what is and this? Along the same lines here, a 1975 Toyota Corolla SR5. Uh, but I think this person's been watching too many Bring a Trailer auctions. Mm -hmm. And it's ran when parked over 10 years ago, and they're asking $7,500. Mm. Some rust in the floors. You don't see many of these anymore. <laughs> I have a question. Mm -hmm. What does SR5 mean, and why did they put it on so many vehicles? Super reliable five fingers. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know. Um, also, the L16 made 96 horsepower, which is more than I thought. So, it's yeah. really not that bad, considering. No. It's got to be at least 30 more than the Corolla made. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't mind these. These aren't bad. No, they're not bad. They, it's the uh, second gen. Or is this the third gen already? I don't know. It, I do like the... Oh. The generation where the grill kind of wraps around oh, yeah, the yeah, front yeah. fender, and this so, is not that. Supposedly, this is just the internet saying SR5 stands for Sport Rally 5 Speed. Interesting. And I'm pretty sure I've seen trucks with SR5 that oh, are yeah. not 5 speeds. There was definitely SR5 trucks as well. Huh. Weird. Weird. Oh, no front shot, huh? No. I'm just trying to no. remember what the grills of these look like. Sometimes. A lot of those 70s Toyotas, they were real hit or miss on their grill designs. <laughs> I also like the Honda wheels that are mismatched. Mm. Actually, you know what? This is a third. This is this is still a third gen. Like mine was a 77. So I think it is. I think it's the the with the big. It looks like it's got a hood bump. Yeah. It's got the kind of bigger mouth, which is not a good look. Not a very good look, <laughs> no. But I really do like the fastback look of these. Mm -hmm. like that yeah, part of it yeah. is nice. Yeah, they're they're on drugs that I can't afford. Like seventy five hundred dollars for this. I don't. Yeah. I would way way rather have the Datsun. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> definitely. Way yeah. rather. Uh, these cars, like they're super simple looking. Like the five tens, couldn't be more basic of a design. But it's also in that same way like a timeless design. Like it's. Mm -hmm. I like them just as much now as I did fifteen years ago, twenty years ago. Also, it doesn't have the five mile an hour bumpers. Yeah, that's a that's a help. That is a help. All right, so that's it for your your first batch. What you got here? Um, what I've got is a nineteen ninety one Ford Crown Vic XL four door sedan for thirty two hundred dollars. Um, Excuse me, XL. Does XL? that not say XL? I'm just, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know either, but it's in the title, so I read it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know. I've been looking at, like, I think, it, it, you know, fun cars for the girlfriend, if she wants to get into this sort of thing. She likes big old cars. Also, like, hmm, what would be, like, just something cheap and fun to, like, take to Redwood and then sell it? <laughs> at Redwood. <laughs> yeah, but I'm like... <laughs> What's that? Sell it at Radwood. <laughs> True, could do that. I, I've um, seen that. I've seen for sale stickers at Radwood before. Oh yeah. Um, and this next series is like a series of big old American sedans that are nobody really wants them still, but yeah. I kind of like them. <laughs> like just the look. Why are those taillights so weird? Yeah, I don't know that I've ever seen. Like I'm sure. It looked too big? I'm sure a million of these existed and I saw them all the time and just ignored them. But I'm just not very familiar with this butt. This oh, is... it's an LX, not an XL. Oh. Mm. It does have Standard. your yeah. yeah. everyday run-of-the-mill 5 liter fuel injected. Mm. You have a choice between 65 and 85 degrees. Mm -hmm. Or time also... and e-time. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> We're running on e-time here. <laughs> uh, or a town car. Yes. Yeah. 80, is that an 88 Lincoln town car for mm -hmm. the same price? Hmm. 
It's one I know the girlfriend Tink. would go more for because it's big and black and looks like a limo. It has that vinyl top going on, yeah. Mm -hmm. Does one have the vinyl top? Oh, it did, but it's faded. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that one, this, if you're going to get this same car, I feel like you need this look. Like, you got to have this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, big. Yeah. Overdone. <laughs> train engine grill. <laughs> <thing>. Right. <laughs> yep. Wire wheels. Yeah. Now this is yeah this is the back end that I'm like familiar with. Now that's a butt I remember. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so she extra padding. Yes. <laughs> Duct tape. <laughs> or gaffer oh, tape. See, I didn't even notice. It's perfectly color matched. Yeah, it really is pretty good. <laughs> And GM's there it uh, is. board just sells the color match duct tape. They know you're going to need it. Same engine, or these are all Fords, so I don't know what that means. But Ford guy. Alternately, if you don't want the, the V8, uh, a 1981 Ford Fairmont, and it's nice apparently. Nice uh, for three thousand dollars. Nice. Uh, these are of course all automatic and all. Oh yeah, I, there is no sport in any of these. Very, like <laughs> very soft. <laughs> yeah like the cushioning in the in the seats this one's got like the solid center lines on it to make it look like a drag racer i guess mm. and it's a six cylinder this one's a little bit more uh basic yes i'm assuming i don't know everything about the ford lineup but the fairmont is probably their not luxury Ooh, that's a color choice Ugh. why 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 are there twin turn signals uh, one's probably gonna be like the tilt wipers, tilt no, light mechanism. No, no. I think probably one is one's wipers, one's tilt, right? Oh, well, yeah. Well, yeah. I guess the shift is the shift yeah, lever is the only is the thing on the right hand side. So shift. Everything's on the left. I think. I don't know. This looks like a tilt mechanism to me. Yeah, but it's got more than one marking on it. I don't think. This car has tilt. <laughs> oh, I this bet is you it the does. base model. <laughs> I bet you it does, because they use the same column in everything. <laughs> uh, anyway, the, the, that one, I feel like this one won't even get, like, Radwood appeal. The only thing somebody would probably want out of this is to make a drag car out of it. Mm. Just because it's a pretty straight car. Like, it's not rusty. It's not dented up. It, if, you, if you put a big engine in it, you'd have a pretty slick-looking, you know, drag car but i think also, uh i think this is the winner okay mm -hmm. yeah 3800 bucks like yeah all like they run it seems good um i would just like to pitch the early 90s fleetwood cadillac fleetwood um <laughs> they also have a fleetwood flower car which is not a hearse but it is a pickup Okay. Right out <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> keep that in your in your search list. Mm -hmm. I'm sure a lot of those pop up. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what you got? Um, oh, and then I uh, yeah, I'm still doing the uh, auction watch. Did you get on watch. this? I have not. You should. Yet, you but should. I'm gonna be away when it ends. LED headlights. It's also a three-speed auto. True. It's an auto. Uh, they got the LED headlights and pods. Um, but uh, it's in Washington. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, an AMC uh, Eagle wagon. We've had these before on the uh, on the program. <laughs> uh, but this is kind of a recent one that showed up on Bring a Trailer. Uh, it seems in pretty good shape. I'm just curious where it's going to end up. There haven't been many of these. Yeah, I was just going to say, I feel like there hasn't been as much of these for sale as there was a few years ago. Mm -hmm. Like, there was a run of these. Like, I think this was one of the early uh, 80s things are cool again cars that people wanted. Mm. And then I think people own them and they're like, good God, what do I do with this thing? <laughs> <laughs> this one, however, comes with a factory CB radio. So you're mm. going so to bid on this, right? <laughs> I'm. I'm. I mean, you're going on a on an adventure, on behalf, Kurt. Go for it. Fifty-seven fifty. You're That's going your limit. on a cross-country adventure. You need this. 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can be talking to the to the trucks, getting all the, the, the info. Look at those seats. Look Extra at, padding. Look at the, the tray. They look comfortable, but your back will hurt after about 125 miles. Look at this yeah. storage. Oh, that's pretty nice. And yet somehow nice. still nowhere for the tire iron. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you think there's... Uh, it doesn't have rear seats? Or like the... No, I don't think facing seats. Row, or row seats. Look at that. Isn't this like the same inline six that's in a Jeep? Yes. Yeah. That means it's reliable, right? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> sure. There's your transfer. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It is a legit transfer case too. Yeah, they they were I from, from what I know, they're pretty legit like off-road vehicles. Just with a car body and real yeah, cushy seats. It's hard to find one that hasn't been like dumbballed to death mm. or just, you know, just completely trashed. Ends in 3 days. Was that today? Like yes, this or... is today. So it ends in 3 days. Unfortunately, when I'm out of town, so I can't <sighs> work with my auction liaison. You, you <laughs> sure you'll be have in. You sure you'll have signal enough to bid on it, right? Yeah, mm. yeah. <laughs> it'll be fine. You just like add another dot to your to your map. That's how you travel, right? You have you have a paper map. Okay, I need to be at a Starbucks at exactly three days from now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, that is Kurt summed up. That is me in three folders. <laughs> <laughs> How can we sum up ZK in three folders? So, this is one I've been saying on a while, and I think it was originally intended for a Ramblin' part, but it's a 1951 Oldsmobile Rocket 88A for $7,500. I know nothing about these cars other than that. It like that almost pure wing and dinga era, but it's not like a tri five Chevy. Mm -hmm. But it kind of looks like one. <laughs> I a, guess. a little bit. It looks like a tri five that's crying, um, <laughs> with the rear wheel spats. But this, <sighs> yeah, I don't know. This adds a little weird because he's or was rebuilding the engine. Yeah. So it was like a Ramwin Park, but he pulled the engine, and if you look through the pictures, it's kind of just sitting on yeah. a bench. But huh. they painted the heads and rockers, or the valve cover. Oh, this is what it looked like assembled, huh? Mm -hmm. Oldsmobile did always have, like, the more attractive General Motors engines, didn't they? I think think so like, like i think it's actually like one of the better engines of the era i did some research at the time but i forgot everything already as we do <laughs> also look how much wider the rear is than the front yeah that rear looks like it's just ready to have very very thick tires in the back mm -hmm. it's because it's the rocket oh here's some more parts <laughs> yeah I wasn't quite sure whether or not the engine was actually in the car at the time of sale. I get the feeling it's in these boxes. <laughs> I, I get the feeling it's not. Oh, maybe the block is. Like, he pulled the heads uh, off, huh? I mean, it looks good. Sh sure. <laughs> <laughs> With the hand-stamped VIN or whatever that is. Yeah. Oh. Numbers matching. In front of the Battleship Texas. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Moving right along. Uh, it's so funny how it has these huge rear fenders for the exact same size tire in the mm -hmm. back as the front. <laughs> it's all about like, the It's look. weird because all of the styling on this car has literally no function. Right. This car is all style, no go. Very uh, interesting tunnel modification there. Never noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> the things I notice. Thanks for the cardboard. 
Fuzzy dice. And Saturn? Yeah, I yes. guess that's part of like the rocket. Ah, this is the 50s, so yeah, it's the rocket age. Yeah. Oh, hey, there's a, a four barrel carburetor gasket. Mm. This this thing's just, place for it. just dripping in parts. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's a, a steal. How many dollars? Thirty five hundred. Okay, that's not as many dollars as I as I uh, expected. Finish assembly of engine or drop a three fifty crate and trans and drive. <laughs> Put it back together or replace everything. Yeah, that doesn't give me a lot of confidence. Rebuilt four speed transmission. Extra three-speed standard transmission. Huh. I assume it wasn't manual. Don't know what manual. these sale for. Look them up on eBay, Cone. <laughs> Find its true worth. If you do N0T, know what these sale for. Okay. So, in case you want a Winga, there you go. There's your ding. Honestly, I really like the way this looks. I do like the look. I, I like the look, but I don't love it. That's, that's... But it's a two door. Yeah. Now here's something you love the look of. Mm-hmm. <sighs> <sighs> the best Saturn ever made. That's the lowest bar I've ever heard cleared. <laughs> Is this including the Saturn in the center of the steering wheel in the old mobile? <laughs> <laughs> so a two thousand one Saturn SC two. Um I think it was 2000, 2001 was a slightly refreshed body style, but this was before GM decided that Saturn was stealing all their thunder and they kind of like then turned them into a badge engineered brand. Mm -hmm. But at this time, Saturn was doing what Saturn does. So like any true real Saturn, this has plastic doors and fenders and whatnot. And the SC2 has the dual cam engine and the like, nicer features um on the other models that means like they actually painted the bumpers and um i think one of the other things is steel versus um aluminum wheels mm. but the sc2 has three doors it was kind of the pioneer of this this became a little bit of a thing it's so good <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I honestly think that this car is... Uh, at least Saturn of this era was... They basically gave you the budget car. But, like, the best, cheapest car that you could. Like, nothing about this car is expensive or even nice. Mm -hmm. But it was, like the, like, the best on a budget like they they cut the costs in the right spots or whatever and i think the coupes are the coolest because they're funky and have three doors it's and funky. i learned to drive on a manual saturn and they're actually kind of quite fun because they weigh nothing right and it revs to 6500 this does give me like my brother's first car was an sc2 I think. Yeah. Was it an SC? Nice. Yep, it was a coupe. It was the one before the three door. Like it was like the model before they went to the three door. So it had headlights. It didn't have pop ups, but mm -hmm. yeah. And it was that forest green color that only Saturns came in. <laughs> you know, you know the color. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty good though. I like that color. It wasn't a bad color, yeah. But it was just like the, I, there's something about plastic body cars that they they all have a look to them, like. It's weird how they're all painted, like all cars are painted, but I can see when a car is fiberglass, plastic, or metal. Like, it's just, <laughs> there's a noticeable difference in the way that they look. But also, this is $3,500, which, as I mentioned, was about the minimum these days for various reasons, and it only has 109,000 miles. I, I can't believe there's a lot of these left around, A, running. Uh, be not just destroyed like yeah they don't dent, um, but boy do they crack and crumble <laughs> um yes and no um my brothers had 
over 200,000 miles. I forget. I don't think it was quite at 250. Um, he had a S... Uh, SL? W, yeah, SL1. So it had a single cam, which when they get about the a that age, the rings go and they just burn oil until they eventually stop moving. <laughs> but they try real hard at that point. I'm they sorry. Don't like I'm sorry. Die. The Saturn burns its rings. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Design feature. <laughs> um, that was a good car. And up until the day it died, the AC worked just fine. I like this. This is this is the most wholesome thing that's ever been on Raymond Park. It's if, it's just a nice car. If you like, can't <laughs> drive a standard and want the car, I will teach you. That might be the nicest thing I've ever seen offered in an <laughs> ad ever. <laughs> that's, that's there's something like I don't know, just wholesome about that. And it, Saturn it, owners it, are wholesome. And it's a it's an it's like a statement on the car, like. Yeah, you can learn on this. You're not going to break it. What are you going to do? <laughs> yeah. Um, and 32 miles highway, like, that was what they were rated at, and they usually got better than that, even mm -hmm. the sedans and stuff. Like, they're these days, they're a little old for it, but they were, like, the perfect college car. Right. Yeah. It was my brother's first car. And yeah, he bought it, it was pretty my brother's new. Car. He brought he bought it. I think he bought it from like a Saturn dealership, and uh, or not new. It was it was a used car, but it was like, you know, pretty, mm -hmm. pretty new for because that would have been like, maybe two or three years old at that point. Yeah, um, my brother's. Uh, the only thing that really went wrong with it was like the intake manifold gasket went a couple times, or like twice. That was just one of the actual flaws with it. And then due to a series of events and taking out a light pole, um, one of the doors was a little banged up. But it kept going after that. <laughs> Not the tiny third door, I hope. Right. Uh, he didn't have the coupe, so he had four doors. Uh. But, uh, but like the interior, if you look at it, it's super basic, but oh, yeah. also a thousand percent functional. Like there's actually room in the back seat of this coupe. Right. Like, uh, people could fit back there. Actual people. Gosh, I've always loved this concept, and none of the cars that had it ended up being cars that I wanted. Ah, and the Vloster is so close to it, It's too. so close, and yet, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> the RX-8. I love the design of the RX-8. Honestly. Did the RX-8 have it on both sides? It did. If they had... Yeah. If the RX-8 had... I, I I hate myself for saying this, but if the RX-8 was a piston engine car, I probably would have owned one, because yeah. I love the look <laughs> of them. They're so practical, and like it's you really do get the best of a coupe and a sedan in one, and uh, unfortunately <laughs> they're nightmares. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's 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 weird how it seems like the the back suicide door is just not a uh, not a thing that nice cars have <laughs> uh, the only other place I see it or I don't know if they still do it even is like pickup trucks yeah it was a big thing on pickup trucks too honestly um, I feel like the car ones are more convenient than the pickup truck ones yeah well also like this is a suicide door while the uh, Velocitor is just like a normal small door that opens the it is normal direction yeah Oh, I always thought it was a door that did no. this. No. Oh, Veloster. <laughs> I, I don't know if you could actually build a car like this these days with various safety regulations. They did it with the RX-8. That wasn't that long ago. <clears throat> I think they have a lot of, like, now rollover. Oh, that was, crush. like, 17 years ago. <laughs> that, they still sold that thing in, like, 2012. People weren't born yet that can drive now. Hey, Google. <laughs> uh oh When did the RX-8 come out? I hope everybody is finding this out with us. According to Wikipedia, the Mazda RX-8 is a sports car manufactured... 2001? That can't yep. be right. That can't be right. It's 20 years ago, Kong. 2002. It was, it was 
first in okay i'm disgusted i hate him. <laughs> <laughs> what you got and finally it is the smart car but it's actually a cappuccino <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> that is it for the new format. How is this not your best ad? You better have. It's been a good. This has been a consideration for my best ad for actually like a year, but you... there's always something slightly better. You better have something good because there's just two pictures of it. it yeah. That's my main problem with it. There's yeah. only two pictures of it, and it's so like lackluster too. It's like a tiny little tray with a coffee machine in the back. Yeah. And they want ten grand for it, which probably that machine is worth like five grand, so it kind of makes sense. But Mm-mm. <laughs> this isn't nearly as cool as the the Red Bull minis. I th- I say. <laughs> yeah, but you can actually. You know, I'd rather. I don't know. I think I'd rather have the cappuccino. But the Red Bull minis, you could just take the can out and you got a mini truck. <sighs> you know I'm right. Hate when you're right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, best finds of the week is still good old fashioned individual folders and going over the last episode's winners. Last episode, Kurt shocked and awed us with <laughs> the Porsche Beetle that I still have nightmares about. ZK shocked and awed us with. Everything you could do wrong to a BMW E30. Actually, as time has gone on, I've begun to accept the E30 a little bit more. They really did do a lot of things to make it reversible. So I was a bit too harsh on it, I think. And I had the slowest way to possibly kill yourself. The try rod. (laughs) Uh, And the results are... Kurt... Barely 61 votes over me with 54 and ZK with 52. Even well, spread. This has been in a long time. Very even spread. Oh, that bug, though. <laughs> it's pretty gross. It's gross. You you remember those pictures of the cars that it was like an art project, but it was like cars stung by a bee or oh, whatever? Oh, yeah. yeah. That, that's what this looks like. <laughs> Uh, somebody did really commend me for keeping it together at the end of last episode. And I was like, Kurt's Porsche. <laughs> 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 <Moved on>. uh, <laughs> All right. So for this episode's best finds, I bring to you the best ad I've ever found on Facebook Marketplace. Oh. This is a 1978 Datsun truck 620 been looking really hard for a 620 with a title and this is not one um this ad has not been edited by me in any way i would like to tell you as we look through these pictures of this truck and we look through these pictures of this truck i, I think the the youths are calling these uh deep fried this is a deep fried datsun this is this is a new term to me Somebody decided to use all pictures done with like the, I, I used to call it like painterly uh, yeah. filter or what would you, Kurt, Kurt's the art degree. When uh, you, the Photoshop filter, I think is called cutout. Cutout. Or, it, or really just make a, 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 a GIF with like only eight color swatches. <laughs> right. And then it'll reduce down to this. Yeah. Uh, so that all of it these even dither it. It all of these pictures are with this filter. You can't see any details of anything, and they they seem to like legitimately use all of these pictures as if this is a real ad. Like they don't they don't apologize for it or anything. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is it. They they think this is okay. No um, regrets. No no regrets at all. Uh, and to answer your question i asked and no they don't actually have a title for this of course they don't (laughs) a freaking course they don't uh but yeah that that really that really got a giggle out of me and this has a z24 engine in it so they they did an engine swap to that weird eight plug uh four cylinder interesting choice 
<sighs> but it didn't put a Weber on it. No, it's this is the I think this is a fuel injected motor. Pretty sure. Eight percent sure. I 7% can't sure. tell. There's only eight colors. Yeah, I can't yeah. tell you. <laughs> can't tell you anything. Uh Kurt. Mm-hmm. I got a new face for you. Yeah, you do. Fuck her up. Um, <laughs> this is legitimately like this is something we've never seen. I think on this show, and I, I'd never seen before. I saw this ad. I would guarantee you, a, all three of us have never seen this before. <laughs> no, nope. a 1954 Panhard Dyna Z12 for only thirty five hundred dollars. Um, an unusual and rare French car. Uh, two-cylinder, horizontally opposed, air-cooled boxer engine. A boxer two? Those a exist? Boxer two. 50 horsepower. I've taken That's it to nearly bad. 70 on the freeway. <laughs> what? <laughs> Four-speed on the column, front-wheel drive. I feel like Powers wants this. <laughs> huh. It is a strange so- thing. Does this have any relation to the Panhard bar? I was thinking the same thing. Like, is this where the term Panhard bar came from or something? Ah. I have never heard that term. You have now. Current status, I washed it off, put fresh non-ethanol gas in it, oiled it up, turned over easily, fired it up after its long sleep. (laughs) (laughs) Huh. What a thing. Uh, BMW bikes, are they Boxer 2s? I thought they were Boxer 4s. I think they have 4s and 6s. I don't... This might be the first case I've ever heard of of a Boxer 2. Look at this nose! Look at it! It's just... Yeah. It it needs... It's looking for the straw. Yeah. (laughs) Oh. Oh. I personally lost your Jitsi, but go on. Go oh, on. Back. Okay. We've yeah, got Tone's a little bit of a robot. He, he's recovering. Shh. Oh. I, my internet's been really bad today. Uh, it's honestly, adorable. this is pretty neat. Yeah. Honestly, $35. This thing feels like a steal, too. Uh, it's in pretty good shape. Inside's bad, but. You know. Look what at is that, that steering column? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that is, I don't know what it is, but it's giving me, like, vibes of, like, Alien. Like the... Oh, it's giving me vibes of, like, Vespa scooter. Yeah, I was going to say, smaller like, the... engine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, yeah, the interior is gross. Ooh, suicide doors. Whoa, what is this? Wow, I need this. I it's need it. too. I need it. <laughs> This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> what am I looking at? Look at these tubs for the wheels. Uh, also, is that a... It's like a four-cylinder distributor, but only two are plugged in. <laughs> yes, yeah. <it> is. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Look, oh, this is where the air cooled intake is. Like, this is where the fan draws in. But yeah, there is engine, unlike those engines pictures. in the rear. No, or is it the front? This is the front. Oh, front. it's front is wheel it, drive, too. Front wheel drive in the what year was this? 54. Wow. I... There is apparently some piece of bumper trim that goes in the, the, the open lips there. Uh... But, uh, they, I guess they're missing it. I got like a grill. Gosh. What what model was this? It's the Panhard. <laughs> it's the Panhard, clearly. It's the Dyna the... Z12. Mm-hmm. Dyna Z. Dyna Z12. Huh. I daily drove it for six very interesting months. <laughs> I thought I was going to say years. <laughs> huh. Life gets in the way. Put it in a barn, then later in another barn. <laughs> wow. This... Can we, like, group fundraise this? One of us needs to own this thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is quite possibly one of the coolest the things... pickup version? I've ever seen on Randwood Park. <laughs> huh. I'm... Whoa, whoa. 
Is this a four? Yeah, it is a four door. Yeah. Wait, it's a four door, but suicide. Whoa, the back doors are regular, but the fronts are. Yeah. What? Maybe they share a hinge. I guess they kind of share this center post. Yeah, I'm gonna need one you of these. You open both doors at the same time. <laughs> Smack. <laughs> yeah. <it> just <laughs> holds the seam in the middle. Uh, I really like this perspective of it too. Like, it's really cool looking. Whoever put those uh, rear um, light or like real plate lights mm -hmm. was not very exact with their placement. No, they were not. <laughs> I yeah, this is. I'm floored. What a what a weird name too. Pan hard. Pan hard. I assume it's a guy's name. <laughs> yeah. Because pan hard, like what we know pan hard as a suspension piece. And like it's a, it's, I guess you would say a style of suspension too. Like the pan hard bar was an advancement to like fix some suspension geometry. Yeah. And maybe it, this it... uses that. I don't know. It's got transverse leaves in the front. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, good luck, ZK. <laughs> I'm screwed. All I got is another beetle for you. <laughs> Do you, though? <laughs> <laughs> A 1975 motor trike, GL1800. <whistles> carburetor. Runs good. Or double carburetor, sorry. Mm. Runs good. Ooh. I thought this was fitting for your... Uh, trike last week and also you have what is essentially the big spoon and the little spoon <laughs> uh it's a seating position all right i uh i think that big spoon needs to be a lot bigger like the, the little spoon it seems <laughs> yeah that's what i'm noticing there you gotta have a, a wide berth for the hey legs. some people are into it okay <laughs> uh, see my trike and was one like my the slowest way to die? This is like the fastest way to die. My favorite feature of this is where they put the shifter. Oh my oh. god, that's the shifter, isn't it? Like, that's it? Like, that's the H pattern? Yeah. Do you think you Just can use your foot on the side? It? I don't think so. I think oh, you have to clutch. reach down. Wow. Wow. And I'm sure that little thin front brake rotor is very sufficient for this task. Yeah, I'm going to say, like, that probably ain't slow. <laughs> 1800cc bug motor on something that now weighs even less than a bug. I think it probably... Well, it depends on the uh, passenger, I guess. <laughs> I would imagine so. Like, I'm, I'm imagining, <laughs> like... The, the Jolly Green Giant is the only person that has the right proportions for this back seat. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a trike. Yeah. Um... You just combine two really weird groups of automotive enthusiasts. Trikes and bugs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's good. I don't like the headlight. Like that whole elongated... Looks like uh, an alien. Yeah, every like the every. <laughs> if you take this trike and you focus on a specific part of it, every single part you focus on makes me uncomfortable. Yeah, mm. fair. Like why why the foot pegs? Why are they like balls? <laughs> why why are they like balls? <laughs> why are they smooth balls? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, so so for this one, you have the choice of the worst possible ad pictures. You have the best thing that's ever been on Win Win Parked, or you have smooth balls. This is smooth balls. <laughs> Those are your choices. Uh, vote in the straw poll down below in the description. Let us know how you like the new looser format, even though we didn't fully actually commit to the looser format just yet. And uh, if me and ZK don't lose our minds, Randwin Parked might be 
changing to a whole different presentation format in the upcoming episode. I have interesting developments in that front, too. Oh, interesting. Renwin Park might be growing up, but we're not. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. Smooth balls. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> uh, have a good trip, Kurt. <laughs>